Hello again, welcome to our video on battery maintenance. Last week we did uh, managing your panels, cleaning them to get optimal performance out of your system. Today we are going to do how to manage these batteries that we use. We, call, we use the Trojan flooded lead acid batteries. They are pretty robust but they require periodic maintenance. Once a week you take the cap off and check to see the electrolyte level. When the caps come up, they look something like this. Okay. Um, in addition to that, also you check to see if there are any spills. So, like if you look here, you see some moisture there. So that means we're having some spillage, and as a result, I change the cap. In addition, you see another one that has some spillage over there. I replace the cap there also. You want to check your wiring to see if there's any corrosion. Okay, as you can see, they're pretty dry, so that's good. So how do we neutralize the acid that comes out from these batteries? Well, it's a very simple, very simple thing to do. You get a mixture of baking soda and water, which is what I have here. Baking soda and water, and then you pour it on there. And I use a toothbrush to brush it off to neutralize it. So I'm going to give you a demonstration to show you me actually doing that, okay? So be patient. And... Here goes. So sorry for the little crooked angle. Um, I have a tripod that has a mind of its own. So here is our baking soda solution. I pour it on right on there. And you see it bubbles a little bit. I use a, I use a toothbrush to scrub it off. And I come back and I rinse it with just water. Same thing on this one. I come back and I rinse it with water, and um, that's it. That's it's that simple. And so once a week, when you first start with these batteries, you open the cap, you check to see the electrolyte level. As long as the metal plates in there, the lead plates in there are covered in electrolyte, you're fine. If it's low, you put distilled water in it. You don't put acid. You put distilled water in it because what's happening is, as the battery goes through the charging and discharge process. It turns the electrolyte, which is your distilled water, into acid. You want to dilute the amount of acid inside your batteries, and that's why you put distilled water in it. Okay, so that's it for our battery. Um, battery maintenance, very simple. Uh, it doesn't require a whole lot of effort. At the beginning, when you install your batteries, you look once every month, as time pro sorry, once a week, as time progresses. Some people do it once a month, other people do it once every two months, depending on the type of battery caps you have. With these, we call them watermizer caps. You might need to check your back. You might need to top them off once every six months. With these, you might need to top them off more frequently. These capture the gases and turn it back into fluid so it doesn't escape. This cannot do that. So that's it for battery maintenance on your solar power. I hope it was instructive and you realize how easy it is to do. Thank you for watching Atlantic Western Power, AWPS Renewable Energy.